Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's session, I am going to give lecture about uh, Sir Thomas Mallory. Before getting into the session, kindly subscribe my YouTube channel to get the further updates about the upcoming lectures. In my channel, I will be uh, uploading lectures about the whole British literature till the current age. So, subscribe and get the updates about the uh, lectures which I will be posting in the channel. Sir Thomas Mallory was born in the year uh, 1415. Approximately, he was born in the year 1415 because he his birth year was uh, uncertain. It was predicted that he was born in the year 1415 and he lived up to 1471. Thomas Mallory was an English writer. Thomas Mallory was labeled as a layman writer. Layman writer means a person who writes uh, without having sufficient skills or knowledge about a particular work. So those people are called as uh, layman writers. So Thomas Mallory also called as a layman writer. See, even though his life history was uh, obscure, uh, he was classified by Caxton, William Caxton as uh, a night prisoner apparently you know was reflecting a, a criminal career for this you know there are a lot of evidence even during the wars of roses uh, he supported uh, both sides at different times thomas mallory was uh, born in the uh, an educated family the aristocratic family his father was you know sir john mallory he served as a justice of the peace and uh, his father also was uh, as a member of parliament Thomas Mallory during his age he involved in a lot of you know illegal activities uh, like uh, stealing, kidnapping and even attacking the people. In the year of 1443 he was stealing about 40 pounds uh, worth of goods from uh, Thomas Mate. But still he was uh, elected to the parliament and uh, he was serving as a knight of the shire the year 1443 so there were uh so many criminal charges against him but still he was maintaining the good standard with his peers in the year 1451 thomas mallory was accused of ambushing the duke of buckingham a prominent lancaster in the wars of roses but uh, it was not proved the accusation was not proved so he was not punished however in the year of 1451 in the month of august uh, he was arrested for a lot of allegations and mallory was uh, taken for the inquiry and he was you know imprisoned so there he remained for one year in the year 1452 he was released from the prison after some days uh, thomas mallory was uh, put under the custody of Colchester accused of still more crimes so he involved and he was accused for that uh, involving like robbery and uh, stealing of horses he escaped and once again he was apprehended and returned to the uh, the same prison where he was uh, when in prison in the year of 1451 he was taken to the same prison name of the prison is you know uh, Marshall C A M A R S H A L S E A Marshall C, Marshall -C. He was released with the help of King Edward IV in the year of 1461. Thomas Mallory was passed away in the year of 1471 and uh, his tomb was uh, inscripted with the uh, lines uh, which is uh, Here lies Lord Thomas Mallory, valiant soldier, died 14th March 1470. Actually he was passed away in the year 1471 according to the new calendar. But uh, it was inscripted on his tomb as died on 14th March 1470. So he was buried uh, in the place called uh, Christ Church Greyfriars. This place was dissolved in the year of 1538 by King Henry the Eighth. Thomas Mallory was uh, for very popular for his work uh, Lee Morty D Arthur, uh, which means uh, the death of Arthur. Lee L E M O R T E Mort D apostrophe Arthur A R T H U R Lee Mort D Arthur, which means death of Arthur. So this is his uh, very popular work, which was uh, said that uh, the work was written when he was in prison. And this work was written uh, based on Arthurian mythology and this work was said to be uh, first major work of uh, English language prose. There was a person called Richard Whittington who served as a mayor of London. He was the one who helped Thomas Mallory to write this work. Though you know he was imprisoned, uh, this mayor Richard Whittington who allowed the prisoners to access library and write uh, literary works. 
and this work goes around uh, eight books and uh, about 507 chapters and uh, this book uh, this book was printed and published by william caxton william caxton is the one who introduced the printing press to england in the year of 1485 william caxton printed and published this work so some scholars and critics who argued that uh, this work was uh, written as a as a political commentary of uh, mallory's uh, on his own age and of course there were uh, so many writers who got inspired through this uh, work and uh, based on this work they published a lot of works uh, like uh, uh, lord alfred tennyson who wrote a work called idyls of the king and uh, this book also inspired from this work uh, lee martin d arthur from this book you know he got inspired and wrote a work called idyls of the king even t h white uh, who published a work which is the the ones and future king this one was written by t h white and uh, this work also got inspired from uh, thomas mallory's the La- lee morty d arthur even john steen beck john johachen steen s t i n steen beck b e c k who also inspired and uh, wrote a work called the acts of king arthur and his noble knight even uh, spencer also wrote a work called fairy queen uh, this one also inspired from this work again mark twain uh, who wrote a novel called uh, connecticut yonky in king arthur's court connecticut a yeah, connecticut c o n n e c t i c u t a yeah, connecticut yonky y a n k e e in king or the court and this one also uh, got inspired from this work and this work uh, got involved with so many characters uh, the most important character of this work i mean the protagonist of this work arthur arthur the son of uh, uh, the uther pendragon and igraine so pendragon was a king and his wife igraine who son arthur okay arthur is the uh, primary character of this work arthur though uh, arthur was the son of uh, uther pendragon u t h e r pendragon p e n d r a g o n pendragon and his mother name was igraine i g r a y n e okay though he was the son of uh, uther pendragon and igraine uh, he was raised by sir uh, ectar e c t o r ectar was the one who raised him later you know he was able to pull the sword uh, excalibur Okay, the one who pulls the excalibur who was said to be the mightiest king of the time he did it later and he becomes arthur becomes the mightiest king of his time uh, there was a magician called merlin the magician who uh, counsels king arthur uh, there is another character called lot l o t a king who married to one of you know uh, uther spendragon's daughter Uther Pendragon starter is sister to Arthur right but uh, without knowing he seduced Lot's wife which is uh, Uther Pendragon's daughter okay who got married to Lot uh, he seduced her and uh, he had a interpersonal relationship with with her they gave a birth of a baby so uh, without knowing her he had a you uh, know uh, interpersonal relationship with her and uh, he gave a birth of a children so the son the children name was modred m o r d or e d modred he okay, was the children was born uh, between arthur and uh, his sister she was you know the wife of lot nanters uh, nanters is the uh, also one of the kings and who got married to uh, uther pendragon's uh, second daughters and his third uh, daughter's name is uh, morgan leafe who got married to acolan and there was another character called say ectar he was a knight who raised the uh, uh, other okay until the boy uh, pulled the sword from the stone and claimed his right to be the throne so ectar goes on the grail quest but he failed at the end k one more character you no know, k another character k uh, uh, he was a son of uh, ectar's Okay, Ectar was the one who raised Arthur, right? And uh, two knights, Ban and Bodes, B A N B O R S. Ban and Bodes, uh, they are from uh, overseas. Uh, uh, they are, you know, loyal to Arthur. Okay, Bode goes on the uh, Grail quest and assists to uh, Galahad. Then uh, Lionel, uh, who is uh, Bode's brother. Then Lord Grienz, L O D E G R E A U. 
NCE. He was a, a king uh, held by Arthur and uh, Gawain, one of the king lord's son. Okay, then Gareth. Uh, Gareth is the another king of uh, lord's son. And uh, another character is Pellinor, Catherine, uh, Agravain, then uh, Greyflet, then uh, Percival, Lame Rock. Uh, Tor, T O R, Tor, Bag Demagus, B A G D E M A G U S, Bag Demagus, uh, Ruins of North Wales, Nero, uh, The Lady of Lake, The Lyle of Avilan, uh, Balan, B A L A N, Balan, then uh, Lansor, L A U N C E O R, Lansor of Ireland, and uh, Mark, Bodwine, B O D W Y N E, Gallon, Pellum, P L L A M, then uh, Guinevere, G U I N E V E R E, Guinevere. Uh, the other character is uh, uh, Lord Griones, L A U D E G R E A U N C E, Lord Griones. Then uh, Lancelot D Lake, then uh, Elaine, E L A Y N E, uh, Melias, Tristan, Polomides. And Red, Nineve, Pelas, King Damas, Vain, Y W A I N, Vain, Manson, Marhalt, Kadar, Keynes, uh, Priamus, Arno, A U N O W R E, Arno, Sir Lacot, Mel, Tail, and uh, Damsel, Melidisiat, D A M S E L, M E L E D Y S E U N T. Melidisant, Dinadin, D Y N A D I N, Evelake, Pinel, Lady of uh, Astolat, Lavine, Uri, then uh, Lucan and Bedivere. So these are you know uh, characters which appeared in this work. So there are so many characters which we, which is very difficult to remember all these characters. But still I wanted to list out all these characters. And this work uh, which opens the story of uh, King Arthur and his knights uh, at the round table. A okay, round table. Uh, round table. Uh, he was uh, given. Uh, King Arthur was given as a dowry when he got married. So King Arthur, though he was a son of. Uh, uh, Uther Pendragon. He was raised by uh, the other family, and as a boy, he was able to pull the sword uh, called Excalibur. Excalibur was the uh, you know a sword, a huge sword, the one who pulls the sword, who was regarded as the uh, mightiest king, mightiest person of the time, and he did it, and he was uh, said to be the mightiest king of his time. Uh, but still, you know, he rules wisely, uh, and he was uh, counselled by Merlin, the magician. See, Merlin. Was a magician who you know started giving counselings when he is in the need of counselling. Arthur makes enemies of the other kings and uh, often who was in, engaged in wars. When Arthur marries to uh, Genevieve, uh, okay, Genevieve's father uh, gave Arthur the round table as the dowry. And the round table was, you know, it was a huge one uh, in which uh, at a time around 150 people can sit, 150 people can sit at one time. And this round table uh, was, uh, you know, acted as the moral compass for the knights and rewarding the knights who behave well and chastising those who choose poorly. Uh, Mallory especially you know relates the uh, stories of Sir uh, Gawain, Sir Tor and Sir Palinor as a means of introducing the concept of the chivalry. Arthur is nearly betrayed by his sisters uh, Morgan Lee Fay, but uh, he is uh, he was held by um, Nineve, a sorceress uh, who uh, came to know her uh, magic and powers from Merlin before killing him. So the later King Arthur, who started fighting the uh, Romans when uh, Emperor Lucius of Rome demands that uh, uh, Arthur has to obey to him, uh, but still the war requires several battles. King Arthur and his knights uh, was able to win and they came back to Guinevere and the otherwise. 
after succeeding in the war they came back but uh, very soon after lancelot uh, who establishes himself as the greatest knight in all the world by his virtue loyalty and bravery at the same time sir gareth uh, gawain's brother who proves valiant in his adventures uh, tristram uh, who is the son of king uh, uh, meliodas m e l y o d a s meliodas d uh, leons and the sister of uh, king mark of cornwall who was introduced and who was introduced you know later in this work and uh, whose adventures were of course unfold so tristram who kills uh, sir uh, merhal to free his uncle from the uh, debt to owed to a king anguish a n g w y s s h anguish of ireland the later he fell in love with the isod i s o d isod however isod marries to tristram's uncle but still uh, tristram and isod they uh, remains as lov- lovers uh, even though isod marries to tristram uncle uh, they both remains as lovers so the later uh, tristram was exiled by mar uh, which means you know he can uh, lo- no longer use his true identity so he fights as the uh, knight with the uh, black shield tristram uh, duels and beats many of the other knights but uh, you know he was eventually thrown in prison and become seal later you know he escapes and uh, uh, meet uh, lancelot with whom he had a fight but later they become uh, best friends lancelot who was in love with uh, uh, guinevere guinevere is the wife of king arthur and so lancelot here he was in love and of course he was very loyal to uh, guinevere and uh, Uh, lancelot uh, lancelot once you know he uh, rides one day and search for adventures and uh, he came across a dragon and uh, kills it uh, see is the grail and uh, he was you know uh, tricked into lying with the uh, pella's daughter's uh, elaine with whom you know uh, he had a uh, interpersonal relationship and he gave a birth of a son uh, galahad whose name was galahad lancelot who was banished from the court since you know his uh, uh, you know love of his came to the light he was banished from the court but later he came back to the round table later lancelot who introduces his son uh, galahad uh, into the court galahad who takes you know siege perilous uh, the seat at the round table you know uh, which no knight has been uh, worthy enough to fill it okay the siege perilous was said to be you know very uh, popular and uh, prolific seat galahad also draws the sword from the floating stones establishing him uh, as uh, uh, the best knight in the world but also accepting the sword scars uh, which you know uh, he will later cause a, a grievous wound later he got you know huge wound most of the knights then uh, set out separately on a, a grail quest uh, during the quest uh, lancelot uh, percival both uh, experience a deep religious conversion while uh, ecter and uh, gawain are uh, told by a hermit uh, that they are not pure enough to achieve the uh, grail quest uh, galahad uh, percival and uh, both uh, meet up and continue the grail quest but they are briefly parted lancelot and galahad continue to the grail at castle corbenick there lancelot is uh, shown to be the worthy uh, of the quest when sir uh, eve lake dies after his embrace with the uh, uh, galahad uh, galahad is identified as the knight who will achieve the uh, grail quest galahad is made uh, a king who dies shortly thereafter while percival becomes a hermit both returns to king arthur's court now lancelot also uh, came back to the court and uh, continues his love for a uh, guinevere the queen wife of uh, king arthur after a series of trials inquiry uh, guinevere is convicted of uh, lancester lancelot's love for her uh, oh, although uh, arthur knows of uh, the affair and uh, overlooks it he is prompted by agravain 
and uh, Mordred, the other son by Lord's wife, and uh, who was taken into action. Uh, Geneva is sentenced to be uh, burnt at stake. She was, you know, sentenced to be burned at stake. Lancelot uh, rescues her and uh, takes her to uh, his castle. He rescued uh, Arthur's wife uh, from the punishment and uh, he has taken her to his castle. Joyous Gad, uh, that's the castle name. Okay, Joyous Gad, G A R D. But in the battle, Lancelot uh, kills uh, Gareth and Gaheris, who are at the execution, but uh, uh, they are, you know, unarmed. Lancelot returns to uh, Guinevere to order, but Lancelot is banished uh, along with his followers. Gavin swears of uh, vengeance for the uh, death of his brothers and uh, insists that order attack Lancelot. Order agrees, uh, uh, but while Arthur and Gavin are away, Mordor makes himself uh, king of England, who claimed uh, Guinevere as his wife. Okay, who Gavin? So Mordor, uh, who claims Guinevere as his wife. And there uh, he was able to attack the army of King Arthur. Gavin is uh, mortally wounded and is, wants others uh, uh, in the dream not to continue battle. He, he said, you know, he wants him not even in a dream to continue with the battle. Through a misunderstanding, however, the battle continues. Arthur kills Mordred but is mortally wounded by him as Merlin has proposed. But Merlin, the magician who uh, prophesied Lancelot and uh, Guinea were both die of illness soon after that. Constantine became the king. The round table is uh, dispersed. So that's it about the work called uh, uh, Lee Morty D. Arthur. So this work goes up to eight books. In the first book, uh, the the story of the King Arthur gets opened and uh, also uh, Tor and Pelinor was introduced and uh, the book one also, the death of Merlin and the war with the five knights, Arthur and Aklon, Gavain, Gavain and uh, Merhalt, they were introduced. In the um, second book Arthur and King Lucius King Lucius was you know introduced and the third book Sir uh, Lancelot uh, was uh, introduced the fourth book uh, Sir Gareth was introduced in the fifth book uh, Sir Tristram was introduced in the sixth book uh, the Holy Grail was introduced and uh, Sir Percival also was introduced Boats uh, Galahad also was introduced uh, in the book sixth book book in the seventh book the love of uh, lancelot and queen guinea where uh, their love was revealed in the seventh book in the eighth book in the last book the uh, death of king arthur was uh, mentioned so the king arthur was uh, died in the book eighth book well that's it about uh, today's session thank you for watching do subscribe my youtube channel